Hello, this is Amanda with From Where I Stamp near Kingston, Ontario, Canada. And today, this video is about the Fitting Florets Designer Series paper. This paper is only available until January 4th, um, 2023. So it's limited time and it's only available for a little bit. But I'm going to use it with some pocket pages. I did a card last last week or the week before and now we're going to do some pocket pages and they're a little bit hard to see but you'll see a little better as we go along here so we have um, a pocket page is a combination of photo pockets either three by four size or four by six size so here we have uh, four by six two three by fours and then four three by fours and we're going to decorate this up with some pictures and some designer paper and probably some gold swirls and uh, some punches. All right. So um, for pictures, I have these cute, adorable photos. Whoops. Isn't she cute? And so we're going, this is from Easter. Um, when I was a baby, and we're going to put those into these pocket pages. All right. So for this, for these three by four photos, I'm just going to slide them right into the pockets. And a tip for you. So if you start off with a four by six photo that you want to cut down to three by four, then all you need to do is have some vellum and have the vellum in three by four. So that way you just need to uh, hold it over your photo. Let's do this one here. So just hold it over your photo and you can see where that image is you wanna keep. So then you can just trim off the sides that you don't want. But we're gonna keep that other one close to four by six. It's, it's not exactly four by six. So we have our two photos here. And unfortunately, the lighting's not the greatest with pocket pages. So I'll try and pick it up so you can see it better as we go along. So the um, designer series paper, the framed, uh, sorry, the fitting florets, on here, you can see the colors. So we have Balmy Blue, Blushing Bride, Crush Curry, Evening Evergreen, Night of Navy, Polished Pink, and Soft Succulent. So I've pulled some of those colors from the designer series paper. And one of the sheets is filled with these beautiful flowers. So I've used my paper snips. So that snips these here. And I've fussy cut. So I've cut around two of the images. Now, if you have the whole collection or if you've purchased the dies and the stamp set or just the dies, this one right here will work with the dark pink and the light pink flowers so this one and this one so you can quickly trim around and then put this through your stamp and cut and emboss machine to cut out the image so then you don't have to fussy cut that one all right and then the matching stamp set that goes with that collection is the frame florets if you purchase the dies and the stamp set together, you save 10%. And I'm not, I'm not sure. I think we're going to do a little, no, we're not going to do any stamping. No stamping today. No die cutting. It's just designer paper. All right. So I took one piece of this paper, whatever way it fits together. Not sure. I didn't figure out the puzzle. Um, but I cut a four inch strip. And then I have a six inch piece, three inch and three inch. So this is um, a full piece from the designer series paper. And we're going to flip one over because I like the design on the back. We're going to put this actually. I'm going I forgot to grab some paper. So I'll grab my because designer paper with our stamp and blends, it will bleed through. So you want to be careful with it. 
when oh, with your certain like whatever surface you're using because you don't want to stain it with your blends. So I figured if I colored at least a couple berries, this isn't crushed curry, this is Daffodil Delight, and I'm using the light color first, and then just going back through. But at least it'll give some cohesion, cohesion, whatever way you want to say, it'll look all good together. So I think that's all I'm going to do, but see how it went straight through. Now, if you're thinking of decorating the back or using the other side of the designer paper for the, des the design of the pockets behind, you want to keep that in mind. So maybe next time I wouldn't do the uh, Stampin' Blends coloring, just so that way I didn't have to slide another piece of paper or photo or something behind there. All right, so now... We have this piece here. So I'm just going to do one page at a time. And I find that they're really easy to do because, oh, not that one. This one goes on the other page. I want it this one here. All right. So we're going to do the gingham piece here. And I find pocket pages are a lot easier because you can just put pieces together and you're working with a lot smaller than a full, like, 12 by 12 or whatever size you might scrap, scrap in. So we have the handmade tag. This is from the July to December mini catalog. And we're just going to punch that. And we're gonna layer this here. Use that punch on the other page as well. And then we have this piece here that I've trimmed out with my paper snips. And that'll go on top, but I want to put some dimensionals on top of that. Just to make it pop a little bit. Okay. And one more. Because of the scrapbook page, there we go. And then, so this will go on here. This will go like this. So we have some of the colors pulling from the uh, yellow of my bonnet and the, uh, I'll call them daffodils. <laughs> They're not daffodils. Anyhow, so we wanna trim this to four inches, dandelions. And it, oh, sorry, to three inches because that's how wide that little card is. And I think I'll have enough room to write Easter on there. That was kind of the plan. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's see if I can write it. Not quite the greatest, but who cares? It's my handwriting. All right, so I don't really want this to go all the way across, so I'm just going to use my snips. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the page, just so I don't get glue on the page. Hmm, that edge is kind of wonky. Oops, I'm just stuck right on the glue. Silly paper. There we go. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back. We're going to put it right here. And I'm going to put it right against the edge. And this one, because it has the lines, I can line that up fairly well. And then we'll put some glue on the back of here. And then we can take off, oh, I better put the lid back on my glue. And then we can take some of these off. So we can here adhere down these flowers. Like so. And then we can slip this, maybe. Come on. 
Where's my tweezers? Here we go. Get all those, past all those little points of that flower. So then there's our first finished page using just some cardstock and the designer paper. I love that. All right. So now we have these two pieces. So we're going to decorate this one. This one here, I'm going to leave alone because I'm going to put the photo on it. So I have the stamp and seal. So I'm going to put that little bit of it on the back of my photo. Then I'm going to line this up. So it's kind of centered as close as I can. Now the pockets are on the front, so you have to remember to turn it around when you're doing a double page spread. So there's our first photo done. And then we have, we're going to do something similar as we did the other page. So we're going to take our punch, punch out a piece. And this time, we're going to do a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. Cut it to three because we're going to have this straight across. So then we can put a little bit of glue there. It's a little long. That's okay. I'll trim it off in a minute. Then we can put this down. All right. There we go. And then I'm just going to come back with my snips. Like so. And I'm going to do the same. We're going to put some dimensionals. on here. If I can get my fingers to work here. Now the um, list of products I'm using will be down below in the description of this video. So if there is anything that you are interested in to know what I've used or to purchase, the link will be there um, that will take you to the cart that has everything in it. And if you live in Canada and you would like to select me as your demonstrator. I would much appreciate that. And um, you can do that by clicking on the product links below. All right, so there is our second card. And it's going to go, actually, we're going to put some of these gold swirls on here. Hmm, maybe right there. I probably should have put this on the other, other little card too, but that's okay. So now we can put, where's my tweezers? Come on tweezers, there we go. And slide that into that pocket. So there's that one done. And then for this, um, I think we're just gonna leave this alone and slide this into this pocket. And, oops, I got them mixed up. Sometimes the pockets aren't quite three inches wide. They're a little bit less. So do try your cardstock or designer paper first before you embellish it. So that way, because this one was like two and seven eighths. So that can happen. And we're going to slide that in. So there is two pocket pages. They're six by eight in size. And we do have an album that those will go in. And I'll have the album linked below. So there are two pages that you could create um, for Easter. Or you could do birthday. And you can even add in maybe some stamped. Because there's wishes for a beautiful birthday. You could use celebrate. Which I thought of using. But decided not to use the stamp. Or instead of having the designer paper you could stamp the flowers and color, color them in with some Stampin' Blends. 
and then use the dies for some of them to die cut them out. So there's a couple options for you for the Fitting Florets collection. And a reminder, it's only available for a limited time other than the stamp set and dies. Those will be in the new mini starting in January. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.